What's good? What's good? This is Steekle. This is Steekle, the podcast. Hey, do me a favor right now. If you ain't done it yet, you see that red button? Subscribe to the channel. Si te gusta lo que mira, press like. Share this video on all your social media platforms. I'm talking about all of them. Drop a comment in the comment section. I'm always interacting with me, gente. People out there getting real greasy. <laughs> But hey, hit the notification bell to get notified. That's the only way you're going to know when I'm about to drop something. Hit that notification bell. Hey, this is the website, r2drec.com. And one thing, one thing, hey, you have to learn how to let go of the past. The past could hold you back to what you could become in the future. And when that happens, trust me when I tell you people, it's not a good way to move forward in life. I have held on to many past problems that I didn't had, and um, it hasn't been good. It hasn't been good. Yeah, I've always said, God forgives, but I don't. And it's hard for me, but it's something that I'm working on. And I told myself, hey, you gotta, you got to let go of some things. You can't hold on to them grudges for so long, or you can't hold on to that past. And that past didn't make you who you are as a person, what kind of did. But you shouldn't be throwing a hollow, throwing negative on it. And y'all probably be like, what is he talking about? But you can't hold on to the past. If it's in a negative way, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Move forward. Move forward. You can't control what happened, but you can control what's in front of you. Let's talk about it. I'm over there, you know, just searching through, you know, some, some videos. And I'm just like, hey, you know what? Drink champs. I haven't heard none from them in a while. You know, last time I heard was Kanye. <laughs> you know what it is, man. So they had Joe Button on there. What a great interview. What a great interview. As many times as Nori kept poking at the bed and hoping he was going to get a reaction, he didn't give it to him. Joe Button, man, that's a grown man right there. That's, that's growth right there. That shows you, hey, look, man, I'm done with that. Let's move forward. And I like that because you'd be surprised, man, how certain situations don't work out and people keep bringing it up, bringing it up. It's, it's been two years. It's been three years and we still talking about it. No, we're not going to do that. Let's move forward. I have no problems with anybody. That's what Joe Biden kept saying. And I respect that because... One thing I learned from, well, there's a few things I learned from this interview that I was like, man, I never thought about it like that. Like, your name carries weight. Your name carries weight. Eventually, I'm thinking about switching the name, you know. I don't know yet because Tico is a nickname that I that I, I grew up since I was a kid. So I was like, you know, everybody that knows me from back in the days, they're like, Tico, you know, that's Tico right there. So basically, that's the reason why I, I ran with the Tico name. But he did say some valuable things about how your your name is very, very important, what you leave behind, the legacy, um, the brand, whatever, you know. So that's one thing, right? Then he talks about the industry. Ooh-wee. So there's a lot of things that are not being said and are being said quietly. And it's true, like, what I've noticed when people talk about, especially when you got artists like a Joe Budden and a Nori and uh, even the DJ, when you got certain artists at that level and been around the game, they understand certain things that basically don't work how they used to. Like, back then, it was very different to what it is now. The independent route is very, very big, and you can do a lot of things independently. Now, certain artists still rely on record labels, but I think Joe had hit it right down the point. He's like, I don't want to feel like I'm trapped. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm tied into something. Like, they got to be a meaning to what I do. And if I put all, all my all into it and somebody's still trapping me and basically not allowing me to do what I want to do, where's the freedom? And he talks about that, y'all. And in this interview right here, I'm going to drop the link in my description because I think a lot of artists need to learn that. And that's another thing, too, that... I started thinking about like what made me go into podcasts and I started thinking about the things that Joe got himself into and I was like, yeah, I was watching Joe when he had the TVs. I mean, we, we talking about back then. And it's crazy because I remember hearing about Joe Budden through a friend. 
I remember hearing records on the radio, like pump it up. And I was like, yeah, that's cool, I guess. And then I remember when the person that came up to me, it was a mutual friend of us, uh, of, you know, of the crew. And uh, he was like, hey man, what do you think about Joe Budden, uh, mood music? I was like, mood music? You talking about pump it up guy? Oh no, nah, I ain't listen to that, bro. Ain't no, ain't no way. Ain't no way you gonna catch me listening to that. So he said, you know what? He was a diehard fan of Joe Budden. He was well, he was a fan of music, but when it came to Joe Budden, it was especially in the mood music era. He's like, bro, you gotta listen to this. So he let me listen to Mood Mood uh, <laughs> Music Two, the second one, not the first one. So the second one. And it's crazy about it because he purchased, he had a copy for himself, but he went online to Joe Budden's website and purchased purchased a copy. I still got the CD case and everything. And then he, he, he said, here you go, listen to this. I put it in and I was like, yo, who, who, like I heard Joe Budden with just the Pump It Up record, but who's this guy? And you could just hear it. The, the 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 pain, the struggle, the stress, the drama. Are you in the mood yet? It was so laid back. I don't want to live no more. Oh. Man, Joe Bunn was something else, man, lyrically. He lyrically, he is one of the best to ever do it. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to catch him at a few shows here in Fort Worth when he came to Fort Worth. But a hey, shout, shout out to uh, Premier Live uh, and Smooth Vega because they put him out. Yeah, they put him in Fort Worth, and I was just like, "Whoa, dude!" And I remember listening to new music, and that the, the, the number two. I went back to the first one, and I went and purchased the rest of them, and then I just kept following his career. And I was like, "Man, this guy right here, he I didn't know he was the, he was the, I didn't know he was good like that. I didn't know he could rap like that." And uh, Yes, one of the best to ever do it, yo. Joe, man, salute to you, man. You came a long way. Now you the podcast. And and I get what he was talking about. Like, he's talking about the whole music thing. Like, yeah, I will do music, but it's not something I, you know, I, I'm entertaining right now. He's, he's in this podcast world. He created this big platform. And right now what I'm doing, I'm just giving you your flowers, bro, because... You open the doors for a lot of artists, a lot of artists, not just one of you. I'm talking about they saw your career. You were you were in the record label, the record label. You told us a story about everything the record label did. And we're not going to get into that. And then you went independent when nobody believed that you could go independent. You went independent. Then you produced some of the the greatest records that got got me through a lot. I ain't got a lot to you. When I was listening to you, I remember having that new music in, in, in too in my car for a full year. I would not take it out. Stack bundles. Oh, he had some hits. Yo, Joe Budden on that one. And I just kept keeping up with him. Oh, you in the mood yet? It was just, it, that was it. That was, and then after that, you transitioned to the podcast world. You did your videos. It's, it's just so much that you showed a a regular artist like myself, right? I haven't been on any major labels, but I've always done things independent. And then I'm I'm, I'm adventuring into this podcast world. But he showed you. You showed us. So I respect that, man. I salute you, Joe Budden, man. I, yeah, I wish you nothing but the best. I kept up with your career for so long, man, and I'm a I'm a, I'm a fan. I, I, I would say I'm a fan. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sugarcoat nothing. And then uh, I I wish you nothing but success and keep moving forward, man. That interview and with Drink Champs and um, you annoy me, man. It's dope. I like it, man. I like it. I like the fact that you you showing us growth. And then one thing that I did like what you said was. I want to hear myself now, this the age that you're in right now, and the mindset that you're in right now, to see what you would, how you, how you sound now compared to what you did before, because it's just so like maybe, maybe people don't understand that, but I understand it because it's it's an artist, it's an artist mind. Like you want to hear yourself, like when you were young, you hear yourself when you were young and things that you went through, and now where you at now, and you want to see how you sound, dope man. 
No, man. I salute you, Joe Budden, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. I'm still watching. I'm still learning. Appreciate all the knowledge and everything you done put out there because I took a page out of that, that chapter and I said, man, I could do it too. Salute you, man. Y'all make sure y'all check out that video. I'm going to drop the link in my description. And also, subscribe to the channel. Si te gusta lo que mira, press like. Also, do me a favor, man. Share this video on all your social media platforms. Drop a comment in the comment section. You know I'm always interacting with y'all, man. Stop playing. I see every comment. Don't think I don't. Just because I don't respond at all times, trust me, I'm still watching, man. Hey, also, hit the notification bell to get notified. Visit the website r2drec.com. And always remember, have peace in your heart, have faith, and never give up. All right. One.